So when we are doing a prominent bust curve or a full bust adjustment, and we are doing seam length method, we are going to make it wider through the bust area, which is gonna cause the fabric to have to travel a farther distance, so we're gonna be short. So we are gonna cut straight through on the bust line so we can extend that the same distance that we are widening. We're gonna cut up through the dart center, up through the dart sideline, up through the seam allowance and up through the arm to right above the notch. As you can see, I have cut that. So right through the bust line. We're gonna add some filler paper to right in the middle of the bust line so we can extend that. So we're gonna secure the paper And if we are increasing for a two full cup sizes, that's gonna be half an inch and half scale. So we're just gonna make sure our front stays square and we have a half an inch here. So we'll secure our paper and our pattern. On the side over here, we are going to extend this bust line half an inch. This is gonna cause our arms eye to increase. Then we're gonna start folding this back in towards the bottom. Gonna need a little more filler paper down the side. As you can see, if you don't cut your filler paper big enough, it's not a big deal. You just cut a little bit more. Okay, we want to start extending this back into the waistline because we didn't want to mess with the circumference of the waistline. As you can see, this has made our dart bigger. Just a little wider through here and that is just fine. So we would refold this seam allowance, retrue our seam line here, and we will have added the area that we need.